How easy and how convenient is it for us to blame everything and everybody for the things that we have going on in our lives? There is a such thing as you being a positive and a great person with the best of intentions towards everybody and shit is rough and you just can't get a break. But most of you, most of you are waking up every day looking for pain, dysfunction, drama, unemployment, being broke, struggling, dropping every excuse in the book about your childhood and the problems and dysfunction that you grew up in that's stopping you from becoming successful. You don't like your friends, so why are you still fucking with them? You don't trust your managers, agents, and lawyers, so why are they still there? Do you really expect your life and career to be any different from messing with the same things, people, and situations? That's all I'm saying. Stop being a lazy, bum-ass person that's full of excuses, sitting around on the pity potty coming up with every excuse in the world as to why you ain't winning. You are the reason you're not winning. You keep messing with negative, evil, and dysfunctional people and expecting positive results. It's time you get off the pity potty, stop complaining about being out of shape when you never go to the gym. Stop looking at your stomach when you get out of the shower and your body and complaining about the way you look when you're eating everything in sight and never going to the gym. You are the reason you look the way you look. You are the reason you're unemployed. You are the reason why your surroundings are so dysfunctional and negative. You could still be in the hood, broken, fucked up, and living a peaceful life. It's a choice. We are being raised in a generation of people that come up with every excuse in the book as to why they are not winning. You have every excuse in the, reason, in the book why you're not spending time with your kids. Fathers, I'm talking to you. Because you're able to create a child doesn't mean that you're a father. It doesn't mean that you understand the concept of fatherhood. It's time to stop coming up with excuses why five, six, seven months and even years have went by without you seeing your child. It's wrong, and it's only the kids that are suffering in the end. Excuses sound best to the people that's making them up. You got every excuse in the world. That's why your shit ain't moving. That's why ain't nothing change, and nothing will change. Because you have convinced yourself that everything is wrong, everything is, neg is negative, and nothing will change, and guess what? It won't change. Change your mind and it will change your life.